Greetings students and parents. The purpose of this video is to review graduation requirements to help with the registration process. A couple things to highlight in this video are the flowcharts available for the core subjects like math and science. Those charts help you understand what class comes next each school year. We will also discuss what you need to do if you fail a required class. We introduce endorsements, a couple scholarships to work towards, and college level classes taught in our building, as well as CT Academy opportunities. As a reminder students, you are responsible for ensuring you meet all graduation requirements to earn your high school diploma. Your school counselors, administrators, and teachers are all here to help you reach your goals, but it is only you who can achieve those goals. Please watch this video, talk to your parents about what classes you wanna take in high school, and pay attention to the deadlines. Let's get started. All of this registration information can be found on the counselor's website linked on the Brandon Valley High School website. You get to that website by clicking on Students, then Counselors, then Registration. Let's begin the registration process by talking about graduation requirements. Students, it is extremely important that you keep track of what you need to graduate. Your counselor will also keep track, but we make mistakes. The last thing we want is for you to miss a class and not be able to graduate on time with your class. The next few slides will talk about specific graduation requirements. Remember that you need 22 credits to graduate, and within those 22, there are specific requirements. To graduate from Brandon Valley High School, students need to earn four and a half credits of English. Within these four and a half, classes must include English 9, English 10, English 11, Senior English Courses, Speech or Oral in Terp. Let's talk about Senior English Courses. Seniors have five courses to choose from. First, Applied English. This course is recommended for students who have struggled in past English classes and plan to enter the workforce after high school. This course does not prepare students for the English classes they will have to take at a two-year or a four-year school. The second option is English 12. This course is recommended for students planning to attend a two-year school or plan to join the military after high school. The third option is journalism. Students interested in a career in publication or want to help design the yearbook are encouraged to take this course. The next two options are recommended for students planning to attend a four-year college or university. College Bound English 12 is a great option for students who aren't quite ready to take a college course in high school, but want to better prepare themselves for English requirements in college. Rising Scholars Composition and Rising Scholars Literature are college-level classes where students can earn college credit as long as they qualify. We will discuss the Rising Scholars program later in this presentation. The English department also has a couple of electives students in grades 10, 11, and 12 can take. These classes would go towards students 22 credits, but they cannot replace English 9, English 10, English 11, or Senior English. To graduate from Brandon Valley High School, students need to earn three credits of social science or social studies. Within these three credits, students must take geography, world history, American history, American government, and half a credit of social studies electives. To graduate from Brandon Valley High School, students must earn three credits of math. For most students, these three math credits will be Algebra 1, Geometry, and Algebra 2. We have included a flowchart on this slide to help you understand what math class you should take next. If you have questions about what math class you should take, your current math teacher is your best resource. Do not be afraid to ask for their recommendation. There are situations where a different math class is recommended based on grades earned in previous math classes. To graduate from Brandon Valley High School, students must earn three credits of science. The standard science requirements are biology, physical science or physics, and chemistry or integrated science. I recommend looking at the flowchart on this slide to help you know what science class comes next for you. 
The majority of students will follow the middle pathway that starts by taking biology freshman year, then physical science sophomore year, and then chemistry their junior year. If you are a student who excels in math, you have the option to follow the pathway on the far right with the sequence of biology, chemistry, and physics. If you have questions about what science class is, class is best for you to take, talk to your current science teacher. If you have struggled in past science classes, you may be recommended for a different science class. There are a few other classes required in the 22 credits for graduation. They include one credit of fine arts. These classes include band, choir, theater, and art. One half credit of PE is required, and most students will fulfill this requirement by taking freshman PE. Students must take either economics or personal finance by the time they graduate. Brandon Valley does require students to take half a credit of computer. Students must also take a health class. The majority of our students will fulfill this requirement at Brandon Valley Middle School. If students fulfill this requirement at the middle school, they do not earn credit, but they do get to check it off their list. If you did not attend Brandon Valley Middle School or you know you did not take a health class, please make sure you register to take a health class before you graduate. One credit of any combination of CTE, capstone, or world language is required for graduation. Approved CTE classes could be CTE Academy classes in Sioux Falls, but it could also be CTE classes taught here in our building. Those classes include drones and aviation, intro to business, animal care, human development, woodworking, and much more. Capstone Experience or Service Learning is our internship program offered to seniors. World language options at Brandon Valley High School are American Sign Language and Spanish. Remember that in order to graduate, students must earn 22 credits. These 22 credits must include all of the required classes we just went over and electives. Students, don't worry so much about how many electives you earn, it just needs to equal 22. The state of South Dakota has established endorsements students can earn in addition to their high school diploma. Let's be clear that these are not required. You are able to earn all three or zero and still graduate from high school. Listed on this slide are the requirements of each endorsement. These endorsement goals are also outlined in your four-year plan. What does it mean when you earn an endorsement? It will be listed on your final transcript. We'd like you to look at credits for class placement at this time. Notice that there are specific credit amounts that you need to have to be considered a a student in each class. This doesn't make a huge difference unless it comes to juniors and seniors. For example, juniors, if you do not have enough credits to be considered a junior, you will not get semester test exemption and you wouldn't get senior prom. Seniors, if you do not have at least 16 and a half credits coming into your senior year, then you do not qualify for those senior privileges. Make sure you're looking at the credits that you have already earned and the credits you are earning this semester to make sure you have enough. There is a difference between a Regent Scholar and the South Dakota Opportunity Scholarship. A Regent Scholar, if you meet all the qualifications, is just going to earn you a certificate. If you earn all the qualifications for the Opportunity Scholarship, there is money involved if you decide to go to a South Dakota University. The Opportunity Scholarship also has a minimum ACT of at least a 24, nothing on your transcript, C minus or lower. A 28 ACT for the Opportunity Scholarship does mean that you automatically qualify and you don't have to take the specific classes. The classes needed for the Opportunity Scholarship are the same as the classes needed for that Advanced Honors Endorsement. We also wanted to take the opportunity to highlight the Build Dakota Scholarship. Although the Build Dakota Scholarship does not have any specific course requirements like the one mentioned in the previous slide, we encourage students planning to attend a two-year school to be aware of this amazing opportunity. Earning a degree debt-free is a big deal, and we love seeing our students earn this scholarship. Schedule changes are offered, but not guaranteed. Students, 
It's very important to pick the right classes during this registration process. The process for making a schedule change is being revised. We will communicate the process through announcements and or email. All schedule changes must be made within the first week of the semester. Any classes that are dropped after the first week will receive an F on the student transcript. Please note that dual credit in CTE Academy classes may have different deadlines. Mid-year graduation is an option for students who will meet graduation requirements at the conclusion of senior year semester one. Students must complete a Google form linked on the counselor's website under registration and also have a conversation with a parent or guardian. The Google form must be completed at the registration deadline. These students will have a separate mid-year graduation ceremony in January. If you choose to graduate early, you may not participate in spring activities. As for senior privileges, fourth year students who meet credit requirements to be seniors can earn free periods and open lunch. All seniors must be enrolled in 2.5 credits or five classes each semester. Please keep in mind that senior privileges can be lost due to failing grades, poor attendance, and consequences due to discipline. Students who fail a course, especially one of those courses that is required to graduate, a student will have to repeat that course at some point before we can give them a diploma at graduation. We have two different options for that. We have credit recovery, so the student could recover that class through our online Edgenuity program. This is not going to change their GPA and their transcript at all. It will um, grant them the recovery of that class so they can graduate, but it will not affect their GPA. If a student is wanting to raise their GPA and retake a class, whether they failed it or they got a grade that they are not happy with, they're going to have to actually retake that class in the same setting they took it before. So if they failed second semester of English 9, they would have to go back into an English 9 classroom second semester to recover that credit. If they are a junior or senior recovering a class that they previously took a semester test in, they will have to take that semester test again. Any additional questions can be addressed with the student's counselor. Next, we are going to talk about CTE Academy. CTE Academy is located in Sioux Falls and is an opportunity available to our junior and senior students. Brandon Valley High School contracts with CTE Academy to provide hands-on learning opportunities for our students. In order to claim one of these limited spots, we will look at the following. Course appropriateness based on prior preparation. For example, have you taken woodworking at BVHS prior to CTE Academy's carpentry? Past student performance in related courses, previous attendance and behavior records, and we're also going to be looking at if you are on track to graduate. As mentioned in the previous slide, CTE Academy offers many hands-on experiences in multiple career fields. Some of these options include automotive courses, welding, health careers, culinary, and aviation to name a few. CTE Academy runs on block scheduling. Block 1 runs from 7.45 to 9.25 a.m. and would take up periods 1 and 2 at Brandon Valley High School. Block 3 runs from 1.20 to 3 o'clock p.m and would take up periods 6, 7, and 8 at Brandon Valley High School. Because CT Academy runs on block scheduling, each semester class is worth a full credit. Brandon Valley High School does provide free transportation to your CT Academy class, or students have the option to drive themselves with parent permission. If you are a junior or senior student who is interested in taking a course at CT Academy, there are three steps you will need to complete in order to request one of our limited spots. Step one, head to the counselor's website under the registration tab and locate the course description booklet and the course videos. Viewing these will give you a better understanding of the classes offered. Step two, fill out the Google form linked on the counselor website. 
Filling out this form allows Ms. Lickness to see that you were interested in a class at CT Academy. Step three, please make sure to list your CT Academy class on your colored paper form that you receive in your English class. Remember that CT Academy classes take up two to three periods in your BB schedule. Course codes for CT Academy classes are located in the registration booklet. Students who receive a spot will be notified by Ms. Lickness in April with further instructions, so please make sure you're checking your K-12 email. Advanced Placement, Honors, and CLEP classes. Students have the opportunity to take Honors English courses, as well as Honors Chemistry. We also offer AP Art, AP Chemistry, AP Psychology, and AP World History. These AP courses offer an end of exam test that students can take to, or to earn potential college credit. Another course offered is Spanish 4. Students who take Spanish 4 have the opportunity to take a CLEP test, which can potentially earn them college credit. Rising Scholars classes are classes that are offered through Northern State University in Aberdeen, but are actually taught by our high school teachers here at BV. A student can earn both high school and college credit within these classes. These classes are offered at a reduced college credit price, so they are only going to cost at this time $40 per college credit. The college classes that we offer are College Bio, Composition 1, Intro to Lit, U.S. History 1 and 2, College Algebra, and College Calculus. You have to be a junior or a senior to be available to sign up for these classes. There are also other requirements that you can find on the Rising Scholars page on the counselor's website. Northern is also giving us another opportunity to earn both high school and college credit without leaving the Brandon Valley campus. These classes are different than Rising Scholars classes because they are taught by an NSU professor, but it is still on our campus. The class that we're offering this next spring would be Speech 101. You have to follow the same requirements as you would for Rising Scholars class. However, you do have to register to take this class for college credit, otherwise Northern will not let you take it. Off-campus dual credit can be taken two different ways, either online or at a campus in Sioux Falls. The dual credit program allows juniors and seniors to take college courses at a discounted rate. This program does limit the number of college credits a student can take to nine college credits, which is around three college classes. However, this limit does not include rising scholars classes, so there's a chance that students may take online classes and go through our rising scholars program at Brandon Valley High School. Students interested in taking dual credit classes must meet the requirements listed on this slide. Anyone interested should contact Katie Murdy for more information. NAIA and NCAA are for any students that are interested in playing sports at the college level. The most important thing to know about this is to make sure that you are picking the right classes and that at the end of your sophomore year, you register on the NCAA and NAIA website. There is a cost to this, and something to note is once you register, you are giving Brandon Valley High School the right to upload your transcript to those sites, giving colleges um, and recruiters the opportunity to see your transcript. Thanks for watching the whole video. Students, congrats, you completed the first task of registration by watching this video. Next up, counselors will be in English classes to hand out transcripts, help you complete a graduation checklist, answer any questions about completing your four-year plan, and help you fill out the registration form. Dates when counselors will be in English classes are listed on this slide. The dates in red are when we will be registering for next year's classes. Your form must be signed by a parent to register that day. Counselors are very busy this time of year and we aren't always available. If you have any questions, please first review this video and look at the registration booklet linked on the counselor's website. If you don't find the answer to your question, feel free to email your counselor directly. Keep in mind, it could take two to three days before we respond to you.